Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick grayscale painting of my demon girl character. Uh, I'm using a Magic Fly acrylic paints, um, as I have been for my recent acrylic painting. I just um, am starting off here with uh, black for the outlines of the mouth and the eyes and the eyebrows and the hands. Just making it in really rough. I didn't go in with a sketch first on this drawing. I just wanted to go straight in with paint and just do whatever needed to be done. <laughs> um, since I was going in with um, grayscale rather than color, I was a lot more confident with blending colors since there is no color. <laughs> Um, so I just went right in with it. Just a sketching out the hair here. And then sketching in the horns. And since she has spiral brand horns, make sure that they continue on the edge of the painting there. And then I'm going to draw the rest of her hair to wrap down her shoulders and behind the horns. And then just filling in the lips with that same black. And now we're going in with a gray that I'm mixing together with white and black acrylic paint. I don't actually have any gray paint or any gray shades available pre-mixed. I made this all with black and white paint. And I'm going in with a darker gray for the darker valued shades. Just for the shadow underneath the hands there and resting against the cheeks and the bottom of the hair. I'll be blending back and forth as I see fit with this. Um, I really did not want to finish it. Um, I always just kept finding more and more I wanted to work on. I did use um, a reference for the pose with um, a girl with her hands on her face like this. Um, it was by no means exactly like this. Um, I just used it to draw the hands basically. Just sketching in some darker parts again there. Just to increase the contrast that darker gray along the horns there for some shading and then blending in a lighter gray to smooth it out. Just going back and forth with those values, making sure I'm keeping in mind where my light source is coming from. And then I'm filling in some black nails for her as well. quickest acrylic paintings and it's probably one of the ones I'm most happy about in the end. I really love the way this turned out. She's got a little bit of an attitude and an apathetic look on her face which I really liked. I dance around areas because I like to let certain spots dry before I go back in on them. Sometimes I'll paint over wet paint again um, if I really want those colors to blend together. But I will jump around to let areas dry while I work on a different spot. Taking some white and almost erasing certain areas with that white. And the bottom of the horns there, and redefining the knuckles on the hands, and basically just smoothing everything out and cleaning it up because it is a little rough and messy. When in doubt, add black lines and then paint back over them. 
Now we're going in with more black for the background just to fill that in. Not too far from finished with this, but I just wanted to clean it up a little bit more. So we go back in with some darker and lighter grays to blend back and forth with each other and smooth the skin out and take some black again and add in some definitions where the edges meet. Add in a little contrast. And I'm adding some strands of hair that fall over her hands and the rest of her face. And then just fixing up the shading on the bottom of her horns and on her fingernails. Almost done here. Everything else is just finishing touches. I'm really excited to do more grayscale paintings to be honest. This was, again, like I said, probably one of the easiest ways I've tried to paint. Um, so I'm definitely down to do this again. So if anybody has any suggestions or anything, please let me know in the comments. Um, for that matter, anytime you guys have any suggestions, please don't be afraid to let me know. Um, and of course, as always, if you like my work, please give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Um, I'll have plenty more stuff to come. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.